Morning guys, it's Amy here, Director of New Youth for Christ. Today we are doing something slightly different this week in our Life Word series. We have been looking at the book of Mark. Don't worry, we're coming back to that next week. But for this week, we're going to be journeying together through what Christians call Holy Week. The week where we run up to Good Friday, this coming Friday, and then Easter Sunday on Sunday. A week where we journey with Jesus through his final days before his death. So today, Monday, we're picking this up in Luke, Luke chapter 19, verses 28 to 40. Now, this passage of scripture is known to be read on Palm Sunday, the day where we celebrate Jesus coming into Jerusalem. Jesus riding in on a donkey with a crowd shouting, Hosanna, where are you in this story? What's going on? Well, Jesus comes in riding on a donkey. He's coming into Jerusalem not as a military leader or a conqueror, but instead on the symbol of peace. Because Jesus hasn't come to overthrow the Romans. That's what lots of the crowd were hoping for. Yes, Jesus is going to free us from these rubbish, oppressive rulers. That's why they shouted Hosanna, which means save us. They wanted Jesus to get rid of the baddies. But Jesus hadn't come to win a military fight. He'd come to live his life that we might know peace with God. See, that was the war that Jesus was going to win that week. Not against the Romans, but against our real enemy, our sin, the things that keep us divided from God. So Jesus came into Jerusalem riding on a donkey because he was coming to declare peace between God and mankind. And the price well, we'll see on Friday, the price will be his own life, his sacrifice, his blood that was poured out that we might be put right with God. Now, it's interesting, isn't it? Because the crowd gather because they're excited. They think that Jesus has come to fix what they think the real problems are. And sometimes there's a challenge for all of us today because sometimes we put God in a box. We want God to try and fix the things that we think he should fix. We make him like a vending machine of our dreams rather than worshipping him for the God that he is. Let's not be like the crowd who get so close to seeing the truth about Jesus but totally miss the point. This morning, what might we want to say thank you to God for instead? Well, we can say Hosanna like the crowd did because Jesus did save us. He saved us from our mistakes. He saved us from our sin and he brought peace for us with God, our Heavenly Father. Why don't you spend some time this morning, well, reading the passage, but also thanking God for what he's done for all of us. Check back in tomorrow for the next part of the story. Have a good day.